But we do want to get outside uh, to uh, our reporter there right now yeah. in Miami. Let's get to Jacqueline Quinn. She's live in Miami. Uh, so, Jackie, where exactly are you at this hour? Because I know you're monitoring the conditions and what's it looking like be behind you? Because <laughs> I see <laughs> cars are moving through, but there's quite a bit of water on that roadway. Yeah, it's pretty tough for them, right? Uh, where we moved to, this is close to the uh, overpass of 395 and probably 13th or 11th Street here on this side. Uh, but yeah, it's problematic for drivers. And I got to say, we've even seen some pedestrians. If you take a look over here, uh, it doesn't look like it's that bad. But when I step into the water here, you can see it comes. I mean, when I was trying to cross the street, it came up all the way to my knees. So it's a lot deeper than you think, especially even though you see some of the other areas where the water has receded. And this is a construction area. So with the winds, uh, you see some of these things knocked over. There's debris. That's all over the place, really. And some of the side streets are still having a lot of problems. We saw that stalled out car earlier. Uh, we have seen tow trucks. They've been going around moving cars uh, to get them out of the roadways. So that has improved some of the uh, road conditions. Otherwise, those things would be still stuck in the middle. But in this area where people are trying to get onto the 395, it's problematic. Look at this car right here, right? It's not sure if it can really make it. It's slowing things down. And you know later on, a lot of people are going to be uh, turning on here as they make their way to Miami Beach or just try to get out of this area. So as you uh, head out, just take a note that some of these areas, uh, that water can be a lot deeper than you really think it is. And you're going to see these drivers slow down. So give them a little bit of space. And again, take time for yourself. For now, that's the latest look out here in Miami. I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS News, Miami. And you just don't want to risk it because, you, especially in the morning, you can't tell how deep that water exactly. is. Exactly. And that's really the golden rule, right? If you can't determine how deep it is, you shouldn't pass through. But as we're seeing <laughs> time and time again, cars are doing this. Uh, luckily, they're not getting stalled there. But we have seen some cars stalled. In your last uh, live shot that we checked in with you, there was a, a taxi, I believe, that was just stuck in the middle of the flooded waters, Jackie. So uh, stay safe out there. I, I know there's a lot going on. You're kind of in the middle of traffic uh, and, and the flooding there. We'll be checking in with you very shortly. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit, Jacqueline. Thank you.